Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. On The Flash Season 6, we're going to be doing my trailer breakdown for Episode 3, but also we are going to be talking about Crisis on Infinite Earths because they revealed the first look at the Anti-Monitor, the main villain of the crossover. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Before we get into this, please go check out my Flash review from earlier today for episode 2. Not too many people have seen it as of right now, but if you guys are watching this, please be sure to go watch the review because it was posted kind of earlier, so go check it out if you haven't. That would mean a lot to me. So, yeah, let's get into this. First things first, we're going to talk about the crisis stuff and then we'll get on to the main topic, the Flash trailer breakdown for this week. But anyway, so we've got our first look at the Anti-Monitor, and this got me really excited. I think this is really, really good. This is our first look at the Anti-Monitor. He is the villain of the crossover, if you've never read Crisis. Basically, it's all about him, right? So he's basically the opposite of the Monitor. That's why he's got the same suit as the Monitor. It's very, very similar. And the only difference really is he's got the sort of streaks of light like he's got these sort of Bane like things you know in the comics Bane has those test tubes that sort of course throughout his body you can see that on the anti-monitor so his suit is pretty much very similar to the comic book one apart from I know he's going to be massive in this like in terms of size but like in the comics he is humongous he is a fat machine essentially he's not really a human you know when you normally see him so this is obviously more humanized, it's a more humanized version of the Anti-Monitor and you know what it reminds me of, his face? It reminds me of Game of Thrones, I was like, huh, is this a White Walker? But anyway, I think it looks really cool, I'm digging this design, I really like the suit, how similar it is to the Monitor and then you've got the Anti-Monitor sort of additions with the streaks of, you know, liquid going through his body or, yeah, I don't know, whatever's inside there. And then you got the flashing light on his chest. And obviously the big thing they've changed is, you know, he is a human type person, obviously he's not a human, and I think he's going to be bigger on screen, like, in terms of size, because, you know, he is in the comics, and from some early concept art, I believe that he's actually supposed to be a lot bigger than people, but he's got a human body, he's not like a, just a robot or something, so yeah, he is a living being. And so he's from the Antimatter universe that was introduced in last night's episode of The Flash. I really love the episode. I talk about it and explain everything to do with that in the review from earlier. So you can check that out as well on the channel right now. So yeah, his face, um, it's obviously very White Walker-like, very much so, you know, different. And you can tell in this poster, I believe he's just been pasted on. His head's just been put on. And this default background has been used many times for the Crisis posters that they've been releasing for these characters. So, I do believe this is actually like a photo shoot probably for the monitor. And then, I think they've just added on the head on top of that. Like, I don't think he's going to actually look exactly like that when it comes to the crossover because it's going to be in action. This is obviously heavily photoshopped. So I think it's going to look a bit more natural because for now I do believe they've actually just pasted his head onto it, like in the poster. So yeah, it's a little bit out of proportion but that is not to worry because it's going to be really cool when we see it on screen. So yeah, I'm really digging this overall, like it really really gets me excited when I saw it I was like holy shit the anti-monitor has been revealed, this is our first look. So yeah. Let me know in the comments down below how excited are you for this, do you think it reminds you of Game of Thrones or like the White Walkers or like the Night King? I think it does and I think it's a good thing, I think he looks really cool, I like his suit, I like how they sort of changed it from the comics but also it's kind of similar, so yeah. Let me know what do you think about this in the comments down below and share it around. Okay, so let's move on to talk about the trailer for this week's episode of The Flash, episode 3. And this is going to be a heavy blood work episode, so I don't know if you guys are excited about this. I think this is not such a great trailer because there isn't much going on apart from that guy you saw at the end of last episode. I mean, blood work's exciting, but it's seemingly focusing on that random guy like that he used as a test subject you know that buyer that he killed or something and he stayed alive so yeah i'm not so hot on the trailer but let's break it down talk about it i'm looking forward to blood work though so we get this shot 
I think this is in his lab and this is the blood that he took out you know it's really gooey and everything it's like sort of syrupy kind of I don't know it's all weird right so that's dripping down all over the place we obviously got the cliffhanger at the end of last episode with him being alive maybe he knocks him out maybe blood work knocks him out and then he's just there but then you see in this next shot in the trailer he is actually in Star Labs that be on blood work and obviously I think what has happened here is He's retreated and he's asked Caitlin for help and so they're sheltering him at Star Labs basically. So yeah, he's in Caitlin's normal sort of office like room where she operates stuff. And you see this shot right here of a vent broken. It's got the blood. Very, very similar colour to, you know, the blood from last episode. So yeah, it's definitely him. And we cut to the next shot and we see blood work as he turns around. And he's about to get attacked by the creature type thing, you know, the morphed sort of blood of this villain. So he's essentially a zombie kind of character, I guess. I'm not sure what they're calling him. But anyway, so we got to Caitlyn and Barry having a conversation. Obviously, this is Killer Frost, not Caitlyn. So I'm not sure when Caitlyn's coming back because it's been Killer Frost the last few episodes. Okay, so... We cut back and this is Barry talking to her and they're just having a talk about what's happening and then we cut to a shot and this is a warning of, you know, the creature that has been let loose, that blood work has, you know, let loose in the world. And so he's in his scientist gear, so he's, you know, working with Caitlin inside Star Labs and so Barry is talking to him and he's listening to the threat. And obviously he's not going to reveal, oh, I did it, it was like my practice. And he's not going to reveal that he's got the sort of same type symptoms, you know, because at the end of episode one, he, we got that scene where he lost control. And it's pretty similar to what happened to that guy at the end of last episode. So there are various scenes in the trailer of this group of people with guns. They are getting attacked by that creature. And you see the shot right here. This guy is screaming, his eyes are like popping out of his head. Anyway, Barry's going to get smashed around by him. You get this shot. I, I kind of like this shot, how like separate the white background is from Barry and his suit. Uh, I still think his cow's a little bit weird, not so sure about it, but I think it looks pretty good, definitely a big improvement on last season, and I just like how, you know, kind of, it stands out from the rest. And so we get this shot right here of that guy, you know, he got, he got stabbed there, or whatever Bloodwork did to him last episode, and so it's sort of coursing with, I don't know, Bloodwork's energy, I don't know what it is, well, actually it's probably Dark Matter, because that was the gun that he injected himself with and it you know somehow got into his bloodstream and it affected it and it made him into a meta and same thing with this guy but he's actually more of a zombie because he actually died I do believe because he was dead and he was used as a test subject so he's back he's in this lab and this is the bit where Barry gets smashed into this we saw this in a past trailer we thought it was Godspeed maybe because it was in a lab again but no it's actually that guy Okay, so we get this shot right here that we've been getting for the past few trailers before the season actually started to air. This is Cisco and Iris working together. And so what they are doing here is they're actually there to because they detected some sort of signal, some sort of breach. And this is the introduction of the new Harrison Wells, the sort of Indiana Jones type character that he's portraying this season, that being Tom Kavanagh. So really excited to see this new iteration of him and... This is going to be his first confrontation with them. He zip lines in, as we've seen in past trailers, and he confronts Cisco essentially, is what happens. Okay, so we move on to the final shot of the trailer. It's inside Star Labs, and they are in that same very room, and this is the bit after he's been attacked. He's been choked against the wall by this metahuman that he obviously revived this zombie type person. And so this is when the flash is going to come in, and I think he's gonna save him because obviously blood workers in star Labs, so he's not a villain yet but he has villainous intent right now and obviously he's killed a guy last episode so he is a criminal but right now he's not going to reveal anything to team flash and that is about it for this video guys so thank you for watching please be sure to subscribe turn on notifications share this video around it would mean a hell of a lot to me if you could do that 
I know these videos haven't been doing as well as they, you know, normally do, but that's because the season is just starting. So share the video around so more people can see it because we are nearly at 100,000 subscribers. I can't wait. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.